we have to understand that point number one, diet is something that is totally individualized. It cannot be generalized. Number two is that it is totally dependent on his or her genetic composition, what kind of food he or she is able to digest. Because those genes she has imbibed in have come digesting the similar kind of food over generations as such. Number three is the geographical location in which part of the country the person is living in. Uh, I could give you an example in, in, in India. If a person living in North India has to settle down because of his work in South of India, in the North of India, the weathers are quite extreme. It's extremely cold and hot in summer and cold in, extremely cold in winter. Whereas in the South, the, uh, it, as the South of India is more closer to the equator, the climate is a little more humid, people eat a little less, and most of the diet comprises of rice. If a person coming from North of India intends to settle down in the South of India, then he will have to balance his diet a little bit on what he is born with, like he will have to eat wheat as his primary digest. At the same time, incorporate in a lot of rice, coconut, and the vegetables which grow locally. So he has a balanced diet which will help to grow his constitution without creating adverse reactions on his body. Geographical location is very, very important, as I said. As a person who comes from a very cold zone will need a lot of meat to survive, we cannot expect him to go vegetarian because that is the way he has been born and brought up with over the years and generations and centuries, his genes have been living there. Similarly, a person who's grown on vegetarian diet all the while, you cannot all of a sudden ask him to increase the quantum of proteins in his body and say you need protein so eat a lot of meat or proteins which would be uh, in the form of dals or the other lentils and cereals. There has to be a judicious balance between all the four components of food which would be vegetables, rice or carbohydrates, a little bit of protein and a lot of fruit material along with that or greens or raw material along with that. Once you set up a diet which is balanced between your genetic composition at the same time geographical location, your digestive system works very nicely. It doesn't have to strain to digest food every time food goes inside. In today's world we see the diet Everybody is accepting everybody's diet because availability of food is a little more today. So everywhere around you will have restaurants which sell foods from different parts of the world. It is a shock to the body to try and digest a pizza today, a burger tomorrow, Indian food the third day, Japanese food the fourth day, Korean food the fifth day, uh, Thai food the sixth day. The body really has to reset its computer and secrete secretions which will digest what goes inside. Since the body is tuned to a particular kind of food, because your genes are tuned like that, it becomes very, very difficult a task. And doing that, this body spends more energy on trying to digest and assimilate food which it would have otherwise not be subjected to. This is the origin of the disease.